going? Monica here and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm doing a fabric haul because I've got loads of goodies from Joanne Fabrics and Hobby Lobby. I've got some beautiful summer fabrics as well as some sewing notions to show you and I'm also starting to collect a few things for whenever I do my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I just hit 9,000 subscribers which is absolutely mind-blowing to me. Thank y'all so much for subscribing and I figured since I hit 9k I better start putting away a few things so that whenever I hit 10,000 I can do a fun sewing giveaway. And also I just want to thank y'all for watching my videos and watching the ads and sharing the videos with your sewing friends because I've actually just been able to upgrade my camera thanks to y'all. It's going to take me a little while to figure out exactly how to set it up to look the best so I'm hoping this video looks okay. But I just want to thank y'all because without you watching my videos it would not be possible to upgrade equipment or get fabric or anything so thank you so much I really appreciate it and let's go ahead and get into the haul I'm gonna show you the Hobby Lobby stuff first I actually don't have a Hobby Lobby near me so whenever I'm out of town near one I always have to make a quick stop in to see what they have the first thing I got was this beautiful yellow floral print. This is a lightweight non-stretch fabric and I was in such a rush I didn't even look at the top of the bolt to see what the name of the fabric was so I'm really sorry about that but it's just a really nice lightweight flowy fabric and it's got this almost crinkled kind of crepe texture to it so I thought this was so pretty and I think it'll look really good as an off the shoulder top with flowy sleeves so that is my plan for this and hopefully you'll see it in a future tutorial. And since floral fabrics are so on trend right now, I also got this really pretty red floral fabric from Hobby Lobby. This is also a lightweight non-stretch fabric, although this one feels a little bit more smooth and silky than the last one. Originally I planned on making a kimono with fringe trim like I have a tutorial for, but I'm actually working on a different project already because I've changed my mind, and if that project turns out well, it will be in a tutorial soon, so you can stay tuned if it works out. To go with that red floral print I got this really cool knotted fringe trim. I thought this was so different than any fringe I had seen at Joanne Fabrics and although I was going to incorporate it into the kimono I was telling you about, since I'm not doing that project anymore I'm still going to try and incorporate it into the project I'm working on so hopefully you'll see this in a video soon as well. And the last thing I got from Hobby Lobby was another really cool fringe trim. This one has the cool lace detail on the top and I thought this was so gorgeous so I got a few yards of this to put in my stash as well and I'm sure at some point the inspiration will strike for what project I want to use this on. I got a ton of cool stuff from Joanne Fabrics as well and I'm gonna go ahead and start with showing you remnants I got because that's always the first place I go to when I go to the fabric store. The first remnant I got was a yard of this really cool kind of netted lace and I actually didn't even realize this was a stretch fabric until I got it home but I thought this was really cool and unique looking and I love the teal color. I'm not sure what project I'll make but it was such a good deal I had to get it. The next remnant it was just under a yard of this really pretty stretch knit fabric that is so soft and stretchy and I'm gonna make a t-shirt for my mom with this because she really liked the fabric so that's what I have in mind for this. And the final remnant I got was a yard of this really pretty blue and white paisley stretch knit fabric. I actually already have some of this fabric on my shelf because I found it as a remnant another time I went shopping so I think I'm gonna put this up for the giveaway whenever I do my next giveaway because I think it's so girly and I think it'd just be a fun thing to give away that would be perfect for like an off the shoulder top or a comfy tank top. Oh and speaking of giveaways I also got this really pretty teal colored tape measure to put up for the giveaway as well. I decided to stock up on bias tape while I was there because I used my last bit of black quarter inch double fold bias tape on my spaghetti strap dress recently so I got another pack of that and then I also got three packs of the same size white double fold bias tape which I am currently using on a project and then I have a little bit extra to spare. I got two yards of this beautiful teal floral knit fabric here. I thought this was so pretty and I'm actually working on a wrap dress right 
right now with this because I have had so many requests for a wrap dress tutorial and I'm not entirely sure if this particular wrap dress, which is what I'm holding up right now, will wind up being the wrap dress I have a tutorial for because I do have to work out a few kinks. So if I can't get it quite right with this fabric, I will be making a wrap dress with another fabric. It might take me a little while to get it done depending on whether this one works out or whether I have to make another. But I do plan on doing a wrap dress tutorial in the future, so I hope all y'all who have been requesting it will like it. This next fabric is hands down my favorite fabric of this whole haul. I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I've actually got my Harry Potter Hogwarts t-shirt on here. So I was so excited to find this Harry Potter stretch knit fabric. Usually the only Harry Potter fabric I can find is cotton. So when I saw that they had stretch knit now, I was just so, so, so beyond ecstatic. It's so comfortable and soft. And that's why I love stretch knit fabric because it is so comfortable to wear. So I had to get this to make an awesome Harry Potter outfit in the future. And then I also got thread to match so that I'd have exactly what I need when I'm ready to sew with it. I got three fourths of a yard of this gorgeous black stretch lace because I thought it would make a really cute tank top or even the detailing on the back of a tank top. And I knew I could get away with only three fourths of a yard for that. The final fabric I got was this really cool black and white print. I think it was called Stretch Chiffon, but honestly it has almost no stretch to it at all, which is what I was looking for, so that's fine. I love how lightweight and flowy this is. And my plan with this is to make a long maxi skirt that will go well with the bathing suit top tutorial I posted recently for the halter top bathing suit. My grandpa's actually having his 90th birthday party, which is awesome awesome, but it's going to be at the lake, so I thought it'd be really cool to wear the bathing suit top with a really pretty long flowy maxi skirt. That way I have my bathing suit on if I want to swim, but then I'm still covered up with a skirt. I'm probably going to use my maxi skirt tutorial that I did recently for this, but if I do something different, I'll definitely film it for another tutorial. And if you don't follow me on Instagram, you definitely should because I'll post pictures occasionally of outfits I make that I don't actually make sewing tutorials for. And I also like to post cosplay pictures once in a while. And I also love posting pictures y'all share of projects you make from my sewing tutorials. So if you want some inspiration on what other people are sewing, then definitely go check out my Instagram. And that's it for the fabric haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it and a lot of fun shopping for it and hopefully you'll see some of this in future sewing tutorials. I hope everybody has a fantastic day and yeah I will see y'all all in a video soon. Bye everyone. Everyone. Let me just knock the thread over. Lobby near the I don't know what this hand thing was but you know.